Hello and welcome to the news show. I'm John Sote. Today's features, it's only news, perfect memory, and garage tech redux. Our workday never ends. I'm not saying our people don't go home or have lives, but ending our workday here doesn't stop our best thinking from moving forward someplace else. Dynamic networking from AT&T enables collaboration around the world and the clock. So Alan's company is always ahead of market demands, schedules, and the competition. The new AT&T, your world delivered. It's only news if we say it is. The State Department's computers have been on lockdown since it was discovered that a hacker broke into the system last month limiting Internet access at many State Department locations, according to a story by the Associated Press. So if you're wondering why your wacky friends at the State Department haven't updated their MySpace profiles in a while, now you know. In a related story, federal IT research firm Input estimates spending on government and defense IT security will increase more than a billion dollars in five years. From $5.1 billion in fiscal 2006, to $6.3 billion in fiscal 2011. Given the recent government security problems, this qualifies as not only closing the barn door, but nailing it shut. Senator John Cornyn, a Republican from Texas, and Senator Byron Dorgan, a Democrat from North Dakota, will co-chair a caucus this week on radio frequency identification technology to explore issues around productivity and privacy, and to figure out how to pronounce RFID as a word. And Internet scammers have begun using the telephone as part of their phishing schemes to obtain personal data for use in identity theft. For example, a recent email scheme alerted customers of a California bank of supposed problems with their accounts, then directed them to a phone number where they were asked to enter their 16-digit account numbers. Some customers became suspicious when they were asked if they had any interest in purchasing a certain bridge in New York City. It's only news. Don't worry. At $25 a pop, Freescale Semiconductor's newest 4 megabit chip doesn't seem like a bargain. But this is no ordinary processor. It's known as MRAM, short for Magneto Resistive Random Access Memory. The MRAM device doesn't require any power to retain what's written on it. That makes MRAM revolutionary, not evolutionary. Here's analyst Will Strauss with the research firm Forward Concepts. MRAM in theory is the holy grail of memories, if that is, non-volatile. It, uh, it can be executed out of at a very fast speed, and uh, it has very, very long life, maybe infinite life for all we know. So in essence, MRAM fits the bill for the, for the perfect memory. Don't view MRAM as a commodity chip. It will be embedded in other devices. For instance, MRAM could be used in printers and computers to log data so the machines can be restored to their previous configurations if they lose power. To do the same with existing chip technology, the device will require a battery, battery holder, and power control unit. That's one reason Freescale feels MRAM justifies its high price. For the new show, I'm Eric Chabro. The German word for safe is seeker. The Portuguese word for firewall is Moro de Fogo. The Chinese word for password is Mima. My company is in 17 countries now, and I can say secure in every one of them. Dynamic networking from AT&T identifies security threats before their problems, so Jane's confidence grows right alongside her company. The new AT&T, your world delivered. Are you a good driver but a lousy parker? If so, you might want to get yourself one of these next generation BMWs. The luxury car maker recently unveiled a cool new feature, a robotic parking system. As you can see in the video, there's no need to park your own car anymore. The car does it for you with a simple click on the keychain remote. The driverless parking is very handy when fitting into a tight space. Though if I just spent 60 grand on a car, I'm not sure I'd want to risk getting dings and dents from other car doors swinging open. But I digress. Thanks to a tiny camera in the front windshield, a built-in sensor knows when to hit the brakes or move the steering wheel accordingly. Mercedes and Lexus both already offer similar parking features, though the driver must remain in the car. 
BMW says most new Beamers already have most of the components for the robotic parking system on board, so I'm hoping the company can roll out the new feature in the next three years as planned. I hope that gives me enough time to save up, and if not, it's plenty of time to brush up on my parking skills. For the new show, I'm Peter Gornstein. Gives a whole new meaning to the word driven. I'm John Sote. Thanks for watching the new show. Not everyone is technology savvy. 